वेलकम टू पद्मश्री वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी प्लान टू ब्रिंग टू यू अ रेंज ऑफ टॉपिक्स अक्रॉस डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स टॉपिक्स विच स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द एम इज टू रीच एज मेनी स्टूडेंट्स एज पॉसिबल थ्रू दिस सीरीज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट वन today we are going to look at a subject which is generally dreaded by students um if i may say so and that subject is physics from physics what we are going to learn today is the derivation of the equations of motion i'm sure all of you must have heard about the equations of motion probably you also know them today we are going to look in depth about their derivation how did we actually get them okay so let's get started now before we begin with the actual derivation first what we are going to do is a quick recap of the most important terms the most important variables that we are going to use in these equations or in anything that involves moving objects okay let's start now whenever an object is moving rarely do we come across a scenario where the velocity remains the same so it's safe enough to say that there will be a change in velocity if there is a change in velocity there are going to be at least two types of velocities right okay so the first velocity is known as the initial velocity the velocity at which the object started moving the next velocity is called as the final velocity the velocity that the object finally had in the time period that we are going to consider if there is a change in velocity there is also going to be a term called as acceleration we will come to it in a while since this happens over a period of time we also have time and finally since it's moving there's obviously going to be displacement so here finally we have displacement now let's look at see obviously we are not going to use these big terms in our formula right we are going to need smaller variables alphabets which will represent these terms so let's quickly look at those alphabets initial velocity is always represented with the alphabet u final velocity takes v now how do we remember this easily initial comes first final comes afterwards in the english alphabet u comes first v comes afterwards that's how it goes acceleration is denoted with an a time t and displacement is generally denoted with the letter s so these are the main terms that we are going to come across now to start with the first equation of motion we are first going to look at the definition of a very important term here and that is acceleration let's first look at the definition as i just said acceleration is the rate of change of velocity okay now you may wonder why i have underlined these terms here let's have a look what i tell my students generally is whenever you have rate in the definition you have time in the denominator in the formula see it's like this most of the times in physics the formula is clearly present in the definition if we read it right that's what we are going to do we are going to look at the definition again the definition says that acceleration acceleration is 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 going to be replaced with is equal to 
so acceleration is the rate the moment we have rate we have time in the denominator now it's the rate of what it's the rate of change of velocity whenever we have change of velocity it is always new minus old the new velocity here is the final velocity the old velocity here is the initial velocity so what goes in the numerator is final velocity minus initial velocity but as i said some time back it would be really a big headache to write each and every term like this right so let's make it simpler let's substitute the variables that we have in their respective places what goes in place of acceleration a equal to remains as it is how do we write final velocity with the letter v minus how do we write initial velocity with the letter u and what is used to denote time the alphabet t now what do we have here we have our first formula the formula which will help us calculate the acceleration of any moving object but what are we looking for here we are looking for the equations of motion okay we are not very far we are very close actually see in the equations of motion we generally have one term on the left hand side and everything else on the right now there we have no terms in the denominator and that's what we are going to achieve over here we don't want any terms in the denominator now this term is here i don't want it here what do i do i just take it to the left hand side now when i take the denominator from the right to the left it gets multiplied right denominator is division so i take it to the left and i multiply it here therefore what do i get this t comes here and the term becomes at is equal to b minus u now in my equation i don't even want a minus sign i want a plus sign so i pick this minus u and i take it to the left now when minus numbers change sides they change signs not just minus even plus minus to the left becomes plus plus to the left becomes minus and so on so this minus 2 will go to the left hand side and will become plus u so i have u plus u plus at is equal to v we are there we are just going to put it into its last and final form the final form says we have one variable to the left and everything else to the right so what do we do we just make them switch sides and voila we have our first very first equation of motion okay what is this this is the first equation of motion okay so hope you have understood all the derivation that we have seen till here this derivation forms the base for the derivation of the next two equations so before we move on to the next video i would want all of you to go through this once again think over it and then let's move on to the second video thank you bye bye